Class 2. Clothes we wear. Clothes are our basic needs. We wear different types of clothes. But why do we wear clothes? Clothes we wear help us to cover our body. They protect us from heat, cold, rain and dust. So, we wear different types of clothes during different season. So, first is summer season. Summer is very hot and during summer season, we sweat lot. So, let's see which type of clothes we wear during summer season. We wear cotton clothes during summer season. But why do we wear cotton clothes? We usually wear cotton clothes during summer. But why? What is the reason? Why only cotton clothes? Because it helps our body to keep cool. Cotton clothes allow air to pass through. And during summer season, we sweat lot. And cotton clothes helps to absorb sweat easily. It also provides better air circulation. And finally, it keeps us cool. So, therefore, we all wear cotton clothes during summer season. So, next is winter season. So, winter season... During winter season, we feel very cold. So, we cannot wear cotton clothes during summer. Sorry, in winter. Because we need that type of clothes which keep our body warm. So, let's see which type of clothes we wear during winter season. We wear woolen clothes. So, why we wear woolen clothes? Because woolen clothes keeps us warm. Next is raining, rainy season. So, during rainy season, it rains lot. So, we need that type of cloth which keeps us dry. So, which type of clothes do we wear during rainy season? We wear raincoats, gumboots and carry umbrella. But why? Because raincoats Umbrella and gumboots keeps us dry during rainy season. Can you see how the small kids are holding umbrella? They are wearing raincoats and also they are wearing that gumboots. Both of them are wearing with gumboots. Why? Because these things keeps us dry during Rainy season. Next is silk clothes. So, there are some different type of clothes which we wear during some special occasion. Because we want to look beautiful during diff such type of occasion. So, we usually wear silk clothes. Because silk clothes make us Beautiful. So, let's see. The next type of cloth is uniform. So, what is uniform? So, there are some people who wear special clothes. And these are called uniform. Because uniform are specially worn in the workplace. Such as doctor, policeman, lawyer, Sailor, students, they all wear uniform. So, different parts of our country, so people who reside in different parts of our country, they wear different kinds of clothes. Can you see in the picture how each one is wearing different type of clothes? from other. 
the sick can you see the sick people they are wearing some different type of clothes it is quite different as compared to punjabi parsi maratha tamil bengali hai na so you can see in the picture i have collected picture where here you can see different people in different parts of our country they are wearing different kinds of clothes in the same way people in different countries of the world they also wear different kinds of clothes you can see in the picture how the dress of chinese people it is quite different from arab family indian family african family can you see mexican jewish american scottish so different people in different countries they wear they also wear different types of clothes now let's see how clothes is prepared who are the people who helps us to make clothes so farmer grows cotton plants in the field so we get cotton from the cotton plants can you see these are the cotton yes this is a cotton plant and these are the cotton now the farmer collects cotton from the plant now these collected cotton are spun into yarn can you see how these cotton the lady is holding cotton in her hand and how it is spun into thread and later on yarn now this yarn is used to prepare cloth weaver weaves the cloth now who are the weaver people who weaves cloth are called as weaver they make cloth from yarn so next let's see how woolen clothes are prepared so we get wool from the hair of sheep camel rabbit shepherd rears sheep for wool they you can see in the picture that how hair of the sheep is shaved now these hairs are collected and cleaned and then wool fiber these hair is spun into fiber and you can see how wool fiber is ready now these wool fiber is knitted and woolen cloth is prepared now already i have shown you the silk clothes how silk cloth is pre prepared you can see it is a mulberry leaf so we get silk from the silk worm silk worm makes silk you can see in the picture it is a type of insect here inside here there is a insect called silk worm it feeds on mulberry leaves and then prepare silk and when it is this type of it is prepared we call it as a cocoon now cocoon are collected can you see lots and lots of cocoon so here inside this cocoon here inside there there is a silk worm now these cocoon are put into boiling water can you see how they are dipping it into boiling water and finally these uh, from here silk thread is prepared can you see now the silk thread is ready yes now these silk we get silk thread and finally we were weaves from the silk thread and this is how silk cloth looks like yes it seems to be very shiny so we wear it for the special occasion and these clothes the cotton clothes or the woolen clothes or the silk clothes we get from where from the shopkeeper from the shop shopkeeper sells these clothes and we purchase this clothes from the shopkeeper and then finally we give it to the tailor 
tailor prepares beautiful dress from these clothes there are certain fiber which is artificial artificial in the sense they are not natural it is these fibers are prepared by man we can say it as a man made fiber some materials like nylon can you see in the picture yes this is the nylon are made by man acrylic polyester rayon these all are man made fiber how it is prepared cotton is mixed with the nylon thread or silk is mixed with the nylon thread and the artificial or we can say man made fibers are prepared hope you have understood the chapter clothes we wear thank you